Hello everyone. Today we are going to talk about a secret feature in Flutterflow. So, if you want to know more, stick in. We are going to talk today about a secret feature which is no one is talking about because only a handful of people actually know about this feature and it's actually so powerful and can actually save the day and can save your project in very specific use cases where everything gets lost but you still need to save some bits of your project uh, because you know everything happens so you never know when this will be in your needs so knowing this information is super valuable uh, and today we are going to talk about as you probably saw in the description or the title of this video we're going to talk about safe mode in Flutterflow. so like i said no one is talking about safe mode because there are only a handful of people knowing about that this exists and me myself personally i know it from the co-founder of flutterflow alex who actually shared this with a couple of people uh the, like the uh, experts so to say of flutterflow uh, and we are going to talk about this right now like i said this can be used when your project is lost when your project you cannot access your project for some reason or when you're trying to access it it is not working uh, and i'm going to show you now how this looks like so let me actually first show you how this looks like uh, this is a project this is just opened a brand new project i call the broken project and i have actually an image a picture which you cannot see because i broken the url and i also uh, have a broken text uh, uh, text variable which I actually set it up from the app state but then I deleted the app state uh, so that's why I'm even getting this error which it says properly overrided string properly not properly set in the text so this error is actually coming from over here and if I click on the error uh, you can actually see that it's highlighted it's now now I highlighted it but if I click again, uh, you can actually see that it's highlighted that this error is coming from over here. But I was actually not able to broke my project so to, uh, for me to be hard to even open the project. Uh, but then this is not the case for the safe mode to be used. Uh, but if you, for some reason, can access your project or a page of your project, uh, this is actually a good way to implement or to try uh, to get your project. And this is what actually the Flutterflow team is also using. So it's good to, like I said, to have it in your arsenal. And I'll actually add an image and I'll add a text that is working so I can actually see the difference. Uh, and let me show you, like I said, a working demo of uh, this. Uh, and now I'm going to open the same project, but this time in safe mode, so you can actually see the, the difference between those two. And now the project is actually opening, and this, like I said, is now going to be the safe mode. And safe mode is actually, when you open it in safe mode, uh, this is what you're going to see. So you, if I go to uh, widget 3 uh, you can actually don't see the renders on your UI so if you have any uh, issues with the rendering things on your project this is actually a good indication that you can use safe mode because safe mode like I said will not render your uh, your widgets it will actually but in the same time you actually still have access to your widgets on the left side so if you actually want to copy for example if you want to copy those widgets uh, and if you know that some of the widgets are actually working fine you can actually copy them uh, you can select them 
right click them, copy, uh, and then paste it in another project, for example. Or you can actually do it as well as uh, copy uh, the code or save it as a template. Uh, and then you can actually copy it to another project. If you want to actually, if you are in a desperate situation and if you want to uh, just keep uh, your save, just part of your code or part of your widgets that you know that they are working. But like I said, this will not render uh, the UI. Uh, so that is actually what this is doing. If you actually click on the storyboard, for example, it will still render here, uh, but in the uh, widget tree or where you see your pages, it will actually not render. And everything else should actually work as expected. You should actually see, you should be able to add, for example, uh, app states, you should be able to delete app states and so on and so forth. Uh, but the rendering part will not work. So if you actually switch uh, to some other part and you switch back to safe mode, you can actually see that the safe mode actually switch to the normal mode. So if you're wondering how I can switch to the normal mode, norm, normal mode this is how you can do it. Um, but let's actually open the safe mode again. So I actually uh, show you because right now in my project, I have one issue, for example, that you can actually currently see and still see that I have it. It's over here and I show you that the text is coming from an app state, which I deleted. So that's why this error is showing. So if I click on this error particularly, you can actually still see the error, which is on the right over here. And I should be still able to fix this error. So for example, I should be able to delete this. And when I delete it, you can actually see that everything worked as expected. And I can see my app being displayed. So like I said, if you ever need this, uh, it's good to know uh, how you can use it. And let me show you actually how you can use it. Super simple. And let me show you now. So uh, it's very, like I said, it's very simple. It's very easy to, to use. Uh, and when you have the link from Flutterflow, the link should be something like that, right? So you have, in my case, it's better, but of course you can actually change it to app uh, and then try, don't try to actually access better because if you don't have access to it, it will not work, uh, fortunately. But if you want to be a better tester, uh, you're free to uh, contact or to reach Flutterflow actually and ask for permission to be a better tester. Uh, but yeah, you actually probably use the app, the normal one, uh, which will uh, still work uh, the same way that the better one is it's working. And you have the address should be something like that, app.flutterflow.io, and then you have the project. And then this is actually the project name itself. So you have my it's broken uh, project and then some letters and your project will be something very similar to that. And then at the end of your URL in your link, in your uh, link on the top bar in your, co uh, in your sorry, in your browser, uh, you have to actually add this uh, question mark and then save with uppercases underscore mode uppercases again. And then just add it like that to the end of the link of your project and then just open it. So this is add this, go to your further flow and just put it in the link and just open. It. When you open it, it will actually delete the part that you uh, put, which is uh, question mark safe mode, it will actually delete this part, but don't worry about it. It will delete it, but it will still work. Yeah, it will actually still, uh, safe mode will still work. And you can actually see that the safe mode is working because you actually, you, the UI will actually not render. Uh, so this is how you know that the safe mode is actually working. And I think that's about it. Actually, I showed you how you can use safe mode when you have to use a safe mode, when it's a good practice to use safe mode. But like I said, it's actually a good way to know that this even exists because not a lot of people actually know about this uh, and uh, just use it wherever you uh, 
uh, wherever you feel lost, wherever you feel that everything gets uh, lost and you cannot get your project back, uh, just try this uh, and see if it works for you. And let me know in the comments if it actually helps some people. Uh, so thank you very much for watching this. And before you go, actually, I have one more thing to say. And uh, before you go, I just want to let you know that I set up a Discord channel, which would be for my 3000 subscribers. Uh, so thank you very much for everyone who subscribed to the channel. The Discord channel will be officially announced when I reach the 3000 subscribers. Uh, it is uh, well structured. It will be well structured uh, with the uh, general tab, uh, which you can see the info, the news, and we have also click to talk. So you can actually talk to other members of the channel and we have the youtube videos as well where you can see all the youtube videos you can also have if you want to uh uh if, if you want to request a video you can go to uh video requests and then we have the paid members from youtube uh which they have a separate channel where they can talk uh, i also have from the mentoring sessions we have the paid uh, members and then it's structured by backend for the flow API calls, super base uh, SQLite. And then you have the design where you can ask design questions. We have the custom code, uh, which is uh, uh, code uh, expressions, uh, custom functions, uh, custom widgets, custom actions. And for the flow source code, we can uh, talk about the flow, flow source code as well. And we have integrations as well, uh, pub, dev, uh, packages, platforms, if you want to integrate different platforms. We have the general integrations. And then we have, you don't see it from my face, but we have also the settings. We have the dynamic links, we have the push notifications, we have the app settings, we have the Android deployment, we have the iOS deployment, and we have the web deployment. And the last thing that we have is actually we have the languages and we have uh, other languages. So we have like uh, Swedish, for example, Spanish, Portuguese, you know, other languages that, that people from those countries or those languages can talk uh, in their own language. Uh, so yeah, like I said, thank you very much for all the subscribers. Uh, and uh, before you go, I just want to say that the paid membership for YouTube is now open. So you can be a paid member to my YouTube channel, which means a lot. And thank you very much for all the people who are right now paid members to the channel.